Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hooks. So we're back with part two of our store brand yarn reviews. I'm really excited. So today we're going to be working with Michael's yarns. So I've got just a couple different yarns here that are the store brand of Michael's to see if we can test them out for softness, for durability, for splitting or anything like that. So any of the problems that you would normally find in a yarn, we're testing these ones out. If you have any suggestions for other stores that I should be trying, even if they're online, that's totally okay. Okay, I can order those too. Just let me know in the comments below or if there's a specific type of yarn that you're wanting to see a review on. I have done a bunch of different yarn reviews, so make sure you go check out that playlist and I'll have the information in the description below. Make sure you check it out and that way if you do have any questions, they're probably gonna be there, but if not, let me know and I will be glad to grab them for you. Hi friends, real quick, if you guys wanna join the coolest crochet community on the internet, and join over 20,000 members that love yarn just as much as you do, click the link in the description below and I cannot wait to see you in our community. All right, so like I said, today we are reviewing um, the Michaels store brand yarn. So this is Loops and Threads. Um, it's the Michaels store brand. Um, you can only get it there, but this is a couple different weights that we're gonna go over. These are my favorite. So these are the ones that I use frequently and we're gonna talk about why I use them, what they're good for, um, et cetera. So we'll start off with the biggest one that we've got here. This is the Chanel Home. Um, this one, it's a jumbo, it's a size seven yarn. Um, it's huge and you can also machine wash warm this. Now you do have to dry it flat. Um, it does shed if you dry it, it'll start like pilling and falling apart. And like you can see that it does kind of have little pieces come off of it um but that's it's right here at the end so just be very careful when you're cutting your yarn um i i do love this though i think this would make a great cardigan it's great for blankets it's their version of like the velvet yarn but it's like a thick huge chunky yarn um i've made a stuffy with this and my kids did not destroy it which if they can't destroy it then it stands up pretty well um, but this also comes with 109 yards. So I used one skein, I made them like this little heart thing. They loved it, they still have it, it sits on their bed, um, on one of their beds, and they fight over it a lot, so I should probably make them another one. But this is one of my favorite super bulky yarns. It's huge, it's cozy, it's so soft, and it like squishes like nobody's business. I love this yarn. Um, the next one I wanna talk about is their Cozy Wool. So this, I would say, is quite similar to um, like a Woolies. Not necessarily the thick and quick. This is a super bulky yarn, but I think it's more, like maybe just a smidge bigger than a four worsted weight. Um, it's, not, it's not super bulky, so I'm not sure. It's a 50% wool, 50% acrylic. I love this yarn. It's really soft, especially for being that much wool um, in it. And I'm not sure it says velvet here, but it's not velvet. Um, but this one's 90 yards. I think this one averages like four or five dollars a skein. Um, but it's a really nice wool. It's really, I like that it's got both acrylic and um, wool in it. And it's a bigger blend than most of the woolies. Like the woolies thick and quick I think is 2080. And this is 5050. So this is a really nice um less expensive alternative to like Woolies yarn. I really, I just really like this one a lot. Um, now this one is my favorite. I use the Impeccable yarn for so many different things. I design with it, I work, I love it. I love the Impeccable yarn. So this one is their worsted weight. This is 285 yards in a skein. Um, this color is in Green Lagoon. It's kind of like a sagey, bluey green color. It's 100% acrylic. Um, and then you can wash and dry this. Like I have tossed this in the washer and dryer so many times. I love this yarn. It's great for beanies, it's great for shawls, it's great for amigurumi, um, mitten, pretty much anything. Anything you wanna make that requires a four worsted weight yarn, this is it. So I love this one. Um, but yeah, so this, and I love how many yards are in here. I can do like two beanies almost with one skein of yarn. I love that. And then the last one we're gonna talk about, so this is wool-like. So this is a super fine yarn. This is a teeny tiny baby, little bitty yarn. 
Um, so this would be like your sock weight or something like that. This has 678 yards in this. Like that's huge. You can wash and dry this as well. Um, this is in the color rose. I am obsessed. It's an 85% acrylic, 15% nylon. This makes the prettiest shawls I have ever seen. I love this yarn. And I'm not a I'm not a tiny yarn person. I don't really care for sock yarn. But it's so delicate and it's so pretty and this holds up so well and it's the softest. Like I adore this yarn so much. Um Yeah, you could probably make a ton of different things, not just shawls. It also works really great for earrings. Um to use that to make your crocheted earrings with. Uh, it's it's just beautiful. Um, but yeah, so these are the four yarns that I absolutely adore from Michaels. These are their store brands. Um, so we have the Chanel Home, Impeccable, Cozy Wool, Wool Like. Um, like I said, they're, they all have their pros and cons. Um, like this one kind of falls apart at the ends. And you can probably like glue the end of it like with a little tiny bit of hot glue or something along those lines to stop that from doing it. Um, and then the cozy wool is just really soft and squishy and it's so pretty. The impeccable, I just, I literally use this for everything. They have like a really pretty dusty rose color that I love as well. And then the wool lake is just so soft. I just can't get enough of it. So if you've used any of these yarns in your, um, designs or in your crochet projects let me know what you think about them if there's any other from loops and threads that you want me to check out um just put those in the comments below and i can go pick them up um, michaels is doing like in-store pickup right now or curbside pickup so i can put in an order and go grab a couple of them um and see what we think about those ones um i didn't swatch these just because i've used them before most of these have been in previous videos um i know this one has i think this one might have been I'm not sure about that one. I know that one hasn't, but they all swatch up just fine. Um, and they follow the wash instructions perfectly. They don't pill, they don't fall apart, they don't, nothing like that. So um, yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these yarns, if you have any other favorite ones, and what other yarns you want me to review. I love working with these to show you guys. I don't mind going out and getting these yarns to test them out so you don't have to waste your money on them. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!